Welcome to Mars. That's right, NASA has sent a new rover to explore the red planet. After a seven month journey, it only takes seven minutes to reach the surface. The landing site is Jezero Crater, a giant basin that once contained water. Our new rover's name is Perseverance. Perseverance will search for signs of ancient life and collect samples for possible return to Earth. This time, our rover will not be alone. Nope, they brought a friend, a little helicopter named Ingenuity. Ingenuity will test the first controlled flight on another planet, which could assist future Mars rovers. On February 18th, join NASA in welcoming Perseverance and Ingenuity to their new home and their exciting adventures on, on Mars. Mars. When you go to another planet, there's just so much potential for making brand new discoveries. I'm actually putting something together that's flying to Mars. One way or another, you're going to be on the ground in seven minutes. We want it to be there safely. My name is Heather Bottom, and I'm helping prepare the spacecraft that will fly our next Mars rover to the Martian surface. My name is Diana Trujillo, and I work with robotic arms to collect samples on Mars. I'm Al Chen, and I lead the landing team for Mars 2020. My name is Michelle Tommy Pelosi. My name is Mujigay Stricker. My name is Jerry Kagadon. My name is Katie Stack Morgan, and I'm helping to protect the next Mars rover. Mars 2020 will be seeking signs of ancient life in the rock record of Mars. What we're trying to do is to roll around the surface of this unknown planet, collect samples, process the tubes as they come back, to look for things that we call biosignatures, so that eventually we can bring those samples back to Earth and determine for the very first time did life exist on Mars. but also where could it be preserved for one more billion years for us to find it. Before the rover actually flies, you have to make sure that everything works properly with the flight software and the hardware. We hit the atmosphere going, you know, 12, 13,000 miles per hour. Path of the journey through space, through the vacuum. We try to test all of our hardware through the environment that we would see. So that's where a lot of the testing happens uh, behind me.
lots and lots of hours here testing everything. It gets put in an oven, it gets put in various chambers and clean rooms. So what we can see over here is the stacked space trap. Where the robotic arm is actually right behind me. This is the place where the magic happens. This is the Mars Yard and this is where our rovers practice driving over rocky terrain. There are hundreds of people that have to come together and build a space trap. You kind of have to put those different pieces together and make sure that those pieces all are going to work. And I feel like such a lucky person to be working on this. In search of an answer, NASA is sending a rover the size of an SUV to an ancient lake bed on Mars called Jezero Crater. Equipped with durable, custom-built wheels, two robotic arms, and a whole suite of science instruments both inside and out, Perseverance will rove across the surface of Mars in search of evidence that ancient life might have existed in the past. It's a huge milestone for us uh, to have built this Mars helicopter that's to the quality that's needed to be launched to travel to Mars on board the Mars 2020 rover. And to have met the really stringent mass constraint coming under two kilograms. In fact, we weighed in under 1.8 kilograms. We have to be light to fly at Mars. We know from decades of Mars missions that the Red Planet not only had water in its ancient past, but that water could have supported life. Mars is our neighboring planet and in many ways the most similar to us and certainly in its history. And the question whether ancient life was there is still the question that keeps us up at night. So the Mars 2020 rover will be seeking signs of ancient life in the, in the ancient rocks of Mars to look for things that we call biosignatures, which are signs that ancient life might have been there in the past. But that's not all this determined rover will accomplish. Mars 2020 is really the essential first part of a sample return mission which is to bring samples back to the best labs we have, which are here on Earth. Perseverance will drill into Martian rocks, collect samples, and prepare them for a future mission to pick them up and bring them back to Earth. This is something that's never been done before. So Mars 2020 is the first half of our return trip. To get to the most interesting rocks on Mars, Perseverance has to land safely among crevices, craters, and canyons, NASA engineers designed a new terrain relative navigation system, allowing the rover to autonomously divert from known risks in the area while targeting a smaller landing zone than ever before. It means that we can both go to places that are maybe more interesting to the scientists because we're able to handle places with more hazards, as well as land closer to the things that they're interested in off the bat. So we get to the science that they care about and more quickly that we can get to the most exciting places, which are often the most challenging. Building on the discoveries of orbiters, landers, and rovers before it, perseverance is pivotal in our search for life beyond Earth. I could finally answer the age-old question, are we alone? Everything that you're touching, all this hard work that you're putting in, the long hours. 20 years, your children will be reading this in your science book. It feels great. <laughs>
we will meet many obstacles on our way to Mars. But as humans, we'll not give up. We will always persevere.